Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. A new distribution schedule was announced by Yilmaq GTF on September 12th. So if you open this one, what you see is the distribution schedule, the date the payment will be made, and when the payment will be announced. And also the other change was that instead of paying everything just once a month, those ETFs are break down into four different groups. Group A, B, C, and D. And different stocks are, and ETFs are placed into this group. Now, if you look at these days, right? Let's take a look at the October date. 10 2, 10 9, 10 16, 10 23, 10 30, right? But looking at this calendar, what does that mean? 2, 9, 16, 23, 30. It means Wednesday, right? These are all Wednesday date. Now, let's take a look at the payment date. 4, 11, 18, 25. 4, 11, 18, 24. What does that mean? That means Friday. So, what that means is that every Wednesday, a distribution will be announced for some of those ETF. Thursday, it will trade without the benefits of dividend and distribution, whatever you want to call it. And Friday, the payment will be made. So, every Wednesday, distribution will be announced. Every Friday, you'll be getting paid right. Now, and so there's a list of stock that will be get paid every week right a b c d i will come to that in a minute now on a surface these things look so exciting right i mean if you look at it so okay every week you're getting the payment now if you look on the screen over here there are four different groups a b c d each one have them a different etfs now what it does is is actually encourages the behavior of flipping around investing on first week on group a Take the money out, invest in group B. Take the money out, invest in group C and group D, and then keep going on and on and on. Now, the question is, is that a profitable strategy? If it is, what is the best way to do it? So let's do some analysis and see what can we come up with. Now, this is a group it is, right? If you go take a look over here, the group A, B, C, D. I exported it over here, A, B, C, D. Now. If you look at that, each one of them have like eight different ETF. Now, I don't have the money to spend in every single one of them. Now, the first step is to pick the right one. Now, we need to decide which one should we pick it. Because as I said before, not all ETFs are created equal. So different ETF generate different rate of returns. So our goal is to invest in the one that give us the maximum rate of return. And this is how I do it. But if you guys remember, I did a video uh, less than a week ago and I got quite a bit of uh, views on that. Thank you all for watching that. If you look at that, I did a detailed mathematical analysis of all 32 of these ETF and rank them by the rate of return. So this is what I did. I, I took the same info from here, symbol and the rate of return. and so here's what I'm going to do. I want to buy the one that been giving highest rate of return month after month, month after month, month after month. Right? I don't want to put my money into the losing one. I want to put it where I get the most of my bucks. So let's do this. Okay. What is the number one rank here today? It was Misty. So okay, here it is. It's on the group B. So what I'm going to do is I'll pick two from each group. Okay. Now, second is NVDY. NVD, right? That's on the group B. Nifli, group C. Facebook, group B. So, what I'm doing is I'm picking two per group. So, okay, so group B, I already picked two, right? Group B, I decided that if I play for group B right now, I will buy NVDY and Facebook FBY. And then let's move on that. And then PYPY, that, that's on the group C. So, okay, so group B on group C, I already decided which one I want to invest on. I know some of you probably looking at it say, hey, Kony seem interesting, Ulti seem interesting, why not invest on that? I will come to that in a second. Now, then you go again, MZ is over here. So what I'm doing is I'm picking the best one, the one that give the highest rate of return and have a track record, right? So, and then you have group A. So now if you see that now for all groups, so group A, group B, group C, group D, I picked two of those and I picked it based on the ranking, right? The one that I did an analysis by myself, the detailed mathematical analysis of all 32 of those and based on them, I rank it and I picked on all of this. Now, let's do some additional over here. 
Now, Connie seems to be a very, very popular one. So let's do some additional. I'm, I'm not going to buy it just for the sake of conclusion or I mean, say, uh, comparison and demonstration. I'm going to pick Connie to, to see how does that perform. Ulti, Ulti is another popular one. Test and Tesla. So Tesla, Connie, Ulti is the one I'm not going to buy it. But I will just do the data analysis, see how does that compare to each other. Well, before I'm going to the detail of the video, just one request, please share, subscribe, like, comment. I'm on a mission to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month. I'm almost halfway there. So I need your support. So please help me by subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for all your support so far. One more thing. I'm not a financial advisor. So I'm not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. What I'm doing is I am performing a detailed mathematical analysis and trying to see find out the best way to approach this and see what is the, the best strategy to make the most of the buck I have. All right, so moving on to the actual, right? All right, so I think we already look, here it is. Now here I'm gonna do so. So this is what if you look at it, right? I mean, say, what does that mean? We looked at all these things, right? Group A, declaration date is 10-2, payment date is 10 -4. So let's buy it a day before declaration date, which is 10-1. So group A, I'm gonna be buying it on 10-1 and selling it on 10.4, right? I'll sell it on 10.4. Group B, I'll be buying it on 10.8, selling it on 10.11. Group C, I'll be buying it on 10.15 and selling it on 10.18. Now, Group D, is, the data has not been announced yet, right? So I just wanted to put the video out there so those of you who want to, to invest by using this strategy can use this technique and, and, and you know refine your trade. So Group D, it will be announced in 10.23, which is, so if I like to buy it, I'll probably buy it tomorrow and the payment will be on 10.25, right? So with that, let's do this, right? So now here's what uh, other thing I'm going to do over here. The calculation is very, very simple, right? Now, let's do this. I'm just gonna do one of these and then you can do by yourself. And then here it is, okay. Let's take a look at Tesla, right? Now, purchase date is 10 1. So you go to Yahoo. Okay, here. TSLY. Purchase date is 10 1. On October 1, the price was $14.17, right? $14.17. What does that mean? If I'm investing $5,000 and the price is $14.7, I can buy $353 share of Tesla. Now, if I go to Yield Max ETF website over here and under Tesla, okay, we go on Tesla. The dividend that was paid on 10.4 was 1.0949, right? So 1.0949, right? Now, since I sold it on 10.4, so let's take a look at the price on 10.4. 10.4 was, what is the price on 10.4 was? 12.72, right? 12.72. What does that mean? How much the gain and loss is? The sell price plus the dividend that I earn minus the purchase price that I have, right? So every single one of them, I'm losing 35 cents. So if you multiply it with the number of share you own, 125. What does that mean? If you invested in Tesla by using this strategy, you lost money. Let's take one, pick one of those one. Let's take a look of the Connie, right? Okay. Let me take a look at the Connie. I'm going to take a look at the Connie. Let's look at this. All right. So I'm going to use Connie for another demonstration. And after that, we will just, okay, let's look at the Connie. Connie. What is the purchase price? Okay. So if you look over here, right, Connie is on a group C. On group C, the declaration date was 1016, so we will buy it a day before the 1059. That's when we will purchase it. No, the payment was made on 1018, so we will sell it on 1018. So let's take a look at the Connie. We go Yahoo, historical data, here Connie, C O N Y. Connie. All right, so we bought it on 10. When did we buy it? We buy it on 10.15, right? Let's take a look at the price of 
the price on 10 15 was 14 dollar 23 cent right 14 dollar 20 14 dollar 23 cents now how much the dividend we are on that so if you go over here you'll max etf let's pick the coney here's the coney the coney here coney the dividend paid on coney was 1.1098 right 1.10 1 1.1098 1 okay now what was the price on 1018 on the price on 1018 was 1445 1445 what does that mean how much we gain we gain the sell price plus the dividend we earn minus the purchase price dollar 33 each so now since we own three co quantity purchase 351 so we make so actually my apology this is not a dollar value so this has to be the number right the quantity purchase cannot be dollar it is that was sorry we all make mistakes but anyhow that was just the formatting error nothing to do with the calculation so so now what does this say what does this really tell you so far the three weeks of data has been announced if you look at the all the stocks or the etf that we planning to be picked over here right i mean see here everything if you look at it, every single one of them pretty much, except G Google, GOY, that is a minor uh, loss. Every single one of them make a quite a bit of money, right? So if you pick the best, if you pick the winner and invest on that and flip around on the weekly basis, that's not a bad idea, actually. I myself is very tempted to use this strategy. So what I'm going to do is, this is the data for the first three weeks, A, B, C. No, I will be looking at the group d which will be announced later this week and i will have another video by the end of this week which updating this one and then we will come up with the strategy for the next cycle and then see which one of those we need to pick it and why we have to pick it and we'll go from there so and i hope you enjoyed your video i hope you enjoyed the video for today if you did please share subscribe like comment and i'll see you soon with some other video thank you and have a wonderful day